Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a White Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I am here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Virgos who are watching. So if you have Virgo as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, then this reading may resonate or apply to you. So Virgo, your person is whoever is currently on your mind right now. You two may be in separation, in communication, at a distance from one another. This whoever in your heart, Virgo, is your person. That's your person, and you'll know. Before I do go ahead and officially begin and get into your reading, Virgo, please keep in mind that this is and will be a general reading for your sign. So it may or may not resonate for you here specifically. And if it does not, Virgo, please don't take it personally. Also, Virgo, if you are interested in viewing your extended reading, which will be the energy that follows up with the energy from this reading, feel free to check out that Patreon membership. It will be linked down below. But without further ado, Virgo, let's go ahead and see what we have going on for you at this time. Let's see what we need to know for Virgo here when it comes to the energy of love. Who is this person that Virgo is dealing with and how does this person truly feel towards Virgo. All right, so let's get into what we have so far here. First we have, I want to be able to support you. I want to be able to support you. Confession on the way. We can fix this now. I won't wait forever. Non-stop thinking about you. Next we have, Butterflies can get scary too. It's overwhelming. And last but not least for now, Virgo, is you're deserving of more. All right, Virgo. So I do feel like this is someone you crossed paths with already. And I feel like you and this person aren't in co communication um, as of now. I feel like things may have ended not on bad terms, but for you, Virgo, this person may have been the one to pull away or to stop communicating and you didn't want to chase this person or you didn't want to inquire when before they were coming to this connection, no problem with E. So I feel like this person just kind of let things drift away here, but I feel like their energy Virgo and how they view you, how they think of you, it's like Virgo has it all together. Virgo has a plan, Virgo is organized. You could be self-sufficient, independent Virgo. And I feel like this person shares some of those same qualities, but it's like they're comparing themselves to you or thinking that they can only give you so much for this time right now. And then eventually you might grow out of their love. Or I feel like this person was just placing doubts upon themselves. And you could try to get this person to feel encouraged or feel supported, but that type of stuff at the end of the day, it comes from self. It comes from individual yourself individually. So I feel like this person got cold feet or they scared themselves out of this connection, Virgo. Maybe it showed throughout this connection, like their self-esteem or insecurities. It was you trying to calm them down or reassure them. So maybe you knew how they were feeling here, but Let's get into our first message. As always, Virgo, you're deserving of more. I feel like this is a personal message for you, but overall, when it comes to this connection, not settling. And it depends on how you feel and if this resonates, but you could have felt like you were settling for this person's energy or they could only give you so much. You wanted to be supportive of them, but there's only so much you can do. So as always, you're deserving of more Virgo. I feel like this connection ended because it wasn't exactly what you needed at the time. And sometimes we could try to fight fate from happening, but it just happens anyways. And we'll see it for 
the true reason moving forward. Maybe not in the present, but it'll all come full circle. So we have that message, Virgo. I want to be able to support you. This could be mentally, um, financially, emotionally, Virgo. When this person was comparing themselves to you, oh, Virgo has it together. Virgo has a, a steady path. Virgo has goals. Virgo knows what they want for themselves. And if you agree or if you resonate with this person doing better, they could have done this, they could have done that. That could have really propelled the, the limits or the heights of this connection, Virgo. I want to be able to support you. For example, you're not supporting me emotionally. We can only get so far with how much you choose to support me. Or first you need to support yourself, then you could work towards supporting me. But we're not gonna get we're not gonna get anywhere. We're we're just gonna keep moving in circles. Butterflies can get scary too. It's overwhelming. So I feel like in this case, this was like the butterflies that scare you away. That gut feeling that something isn't right or something's wrong. I would like for this to be a different feeling because I could think about it in a more exciting or fun way, but it's not feeling that way. So let me choose to listen to these butterflies. And it's like the overwhelming feeling like you have to make a choice for yourself, Virgo, or this person has to make a decision, but they don't want to. But at the same time, it's nearing it's nearing that time where they have to make a move here. So butterflies can get scary too. It's overwhelming. We have, we can fix this now. I won't wait forever. I feel like this is your energy, Virgo. I feel like you may have gotten frustrated with this person or wanted them to like step up. To say this person was acting cold or they were acting distant, you're not sure why or they expect you to be the mind reader, the problem solver. I, I feel like for you, Virgo, I can't do it all on my own. I can't be the mature one. I can, but you need to be mature as well. So wanting this person to step up, speak how they're feeling, and really take initiative no matter how hard it is or no matter how much they don't want to. If something needs to be handled or addressed, then do it for the sake of this connection. So we can fix this now. I won't wait forever. Non-stop thinking about you. This person's energy, Virgo, because I feel like you just let this connection be. If it's ending, I, I feel like this is your energy, Virgo. If this is ending, then I gave it the best I could have given it or gave it. So there's no reaching out to this person. There's no chasing them or begging them to stay or come back or speak up. And that also takes just acknowledging your faults, righting your wrongs. It's okay to be in the wrong, but someone isn't going to like say sorry for you, you know? And confession on the way. So this could be communication from this person, Virgo. We are in Mercury retrograde season. So people from the past, Problems are about to be reopened or they can be reopened here, Virgo. Let's see the last couple messages here. How else does this person feel? And what would this person like for Virgo to know? So let's keep it at that. We have four last messages. We have, once again, Virgo, that extended reading will be posted in the comment section. For the patreon membership but we have there's so much curiosity i have when it comes to you i'm working on healing my past this has taught me a lot but i'm moving on last but not least if i'm the one you truly want then make it known so this being your energy right here virgo if i'm the one you truly want to make it known i can only do so much and I feel like this person knew exactly how straightforward your efforts or your communication. It's like you wanted to progress this connection. So if there is something you can do differently or do better or be more attentive towards, then let me know. But I feel like you were confident in yourself, Virgo, that I'm doing my work. I'm doing my half of this relationship. I'm tending to what I need to do in order to keep this afloat. It's this person that needs to make it known, step up, express how they feel, express any doubts that 
might hinder them from moving forward with us. I'm working on healing my past. I feel like this is this person's energy, Virgo, and this could be something they've been actively doing while in separation or not communicating with you. But even during like getting to know this person, I feel like say this was their motive as well. They kind of projected their doubts, their insecurities onto you here, Virgo. I'm working on healing my past. You may have never felt this or never knew this, Virgo, because say their self-esteem issues, it transferred or equated to them taking things out on you here. So I'm working on healing my past. I do feel like this is this person's energy. This has taught me a lot, but I'm moving on your energy, Virgo. I don't want to think about this in an upset or negative way. I don't want this to be stuck in or stuck on my mind. I don't want to feel confined or limited here. And there's so much curiosity I have when it comes to you. I feel like this is this person's energy after the fact. What is Virgo up to? I know that Virgo was onto something great. I wonder how far Virgo has gotten with this project, with that project. So someone, I, I feel like it's that fear of missing out Virgo, but they're actually missing out because of the reality of this connection. If you are interested in what will come after that extended reading is down below. First sign we do have is Gemini for Virgo. Taurus, Gemini, Taurus. Last but not least for my Virgos is Aquarius. All right, Virgo. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I do appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you all next time. Bye.